first things that happens when a soldier goes to basic training is they get their uniform. And uh, wearing a uniform is an important part for, um, that's part of the good order and discipline that goes into being a military force, is uh, basically knowing who's on your side. Um, you know, we all wear the same uniform, uh, helps I us identify who we are. But at the same time, as you can see, it's camouflage, which you know, helps when we're in certain environments. If we're in the desert, it helps camouflage us among the sand. If we're in a forest environment, uh, the green helps us blend in there as well. Um, but the very first uniform you probably get day one is the physical fitness uniform. Um, so they'll fit you for the shorts and the t-shirt, and then that's what we wear for our physical training exercises. A lot of people like to just wear their own workout clothes, but again, um, having everybody wear the same uniform uh, builds the sense of togetherness um, that comes with being in the military. For the uniform, uh, for the what we call um, the Army Combat Uniform, ACU, the pattern that's on the ACU is the Operational Camouflage Pattern, or OCP. A lot of times we use those terms interchangeably. Um, you know, we'll, we'll call the whole uniform OCPs or ACUs. Now the patches and the badges that we wear on the uniform, uh, they all serve a purpose. We wear our, our last name on our, on our right chest to identify who we are. Um, we're the name tag of our service, right over our heart on the left side. Uh, and then right in the middle is my rank, so major. So I wear the major rank right on my chest. Um, the American flag we wear on the right sleeve. And as you can see there, it's not backward. It's you know, as if it was advancing forward, which is why the, the, the stars are on the right side there. Now from there, it gets a little bit, uh, it's kind of unique per soldier. So on the left shoulder, you wear the unit patch for the unit you're currently in. So the unit I'm currently in is the 213th Regional Support Group, and that is the patch that we wear. On the right side, if you've served in a combat zone with a unit, you can wear that patch on your right arm. So not every soldier has a unit patch on the right arm. It's reserved for, like I said, if you've served in a combat zone with that unit, you can wear that patch on your right arm. So this is the patch for the 28th Infantry Division. Um, I served overseas with them 2020 to 2021 in Iraq and Kuwait, Syria, and Jordan. Um, that counted as combat service, so I get to wear that patch on my right arm throughout my career. There's also some badges that some people get specialty, like skill badges. Um, say you've served, uh, say you've been engaged by the enemy. Um, if you served in actual combat, you would get a combat action badge or a combat infantryman badge. You'd wear that right over your uh, U.S. Army tape. Um, if you've completed some schools like Airborne, Air Assault, Pathfinder, um, Scuba, Diver School, there's badges for that that you can wear over your name tape as well. And that's the uniform. For more from Mosaic, please like and subscribe to the channel or check out another video. To help support this project, please visit witf.org mosaic.